Welcome back everyone, Monty here from IG, and we are going to talk about the dashboard today. So this is where we left off last time, and when you log in, you'll go to the dashboard, but let's say you want to go to the dashboard from here. So how exactly would we do that? Well, you go to the top, right over there, don't go to Logout, you go to My IG, and you click on that. That is going to take you directly to the dashboard. And as we discussed in the first video, you're going to see a lot of your accounts over here. Uh, up top, you'll see it says fund your account. But let's go to the very top. You'll see the inbox. Let's click on that. That's if you have any messages there. If you click on community or academy or help, it'll take you out to a separate uh, site. And there you can take a look at the webinars. You can take a look at what's available in terms of information. And well, help is help. Click on that, you can go back to your account or you can log out, but let's stick with the dashboard. And over here, you can see it says at the top, fund your account. We don't need to do that now, so we're gonna dismiss. And in my case, you can see that I've got a CFD account, I've got a MetaTrader account. This is a demo account, so, um, and, and the others are test accounts, so you don't need to worry about it. You can open the platform from there. So you'll notice I have a CFD and MT4 account, but what if I don't have an MT4 and I wanna add one? Well, in this case, what you can do is here, you can add an account. You could add another CFD account, by the way, a sub account if you wanna have more than one account. But if you want an MT4 account, you you apply for one, you go over here, you click I agree, and you click finish. In my case, I already have it, so there's no need for me to request a new one. So that's where you would go if you wanna add an account, whether it's a CFD account, an MT4, and depending on your region, you might have other ones as well. So. Um, you also have other items like live prices, analysis, the academy, the community, and webinars down there as well. So for this next part, let's go to settings first. That's where I want to start. We are going to get to live and demo accounts. And here there are a number of items. I'm not going to go through all of them in detail, but you can change your username, your password. Um, if you don't want to receive certain marketing uh, communications, such as trading ideas and stuff, you can subscribe or unsubscribe. Of course, those of you who want to get the daily market or weekly market reports or want to subscribe from those, that's a different process. But in the future, they will be visible from here as well. So let's move on. you got personal details, your default account. This is interesting because if you want your default account to be CFD or MT4, but more importantly, when you log in, do you want to log into the dashboard or do you want to go to the platform directly? Sometimes you only have one account or you always want to go to that one account. If that's the case, you just... Again, you go to new trading platform, you click on that, you save your preference. Next time around when you log in, it'll go directly to your charts. It'll go directly to your log you into the platform. So don't forget settings, default account, new trading platform, save preferences, and you're good to go. Um, we also have rollovers for those of you who this is regards to the futures account. So if you're if you want your rollover to be enabled so that it moves on to the next contract uh, the next month. Or if you don't want to, this is where you would go ahead and enable or disable it. You click on whichever one you want and you submit. For those of you who've been asking about Pro Real Time, this is where you'd activate it under settings. You go to active Pro Real Time for live accounts. You click accept. But keep in mind, there's no extra cost if you transact at least four times in a given month. However, if you don't, there is going to be a $40 monthly monthly fee and in this case pro real time is enabled voila you're all set here you can disable or enable depending on which ones you want you might say well i don't want it for the mt4 account i just want it for the cfd account that's fine now it's just enabled for the cfd and if in this case let's go ahead and disable it though so now you know where to go if you ever want to activate pro real time Let's move on to the next. I'm going to start with demo accounts, and that's because I've got transactions there. We did a few of them in some of the previous videos, and you can see the equities there, open PL, everything, all the items are there. We only have one account and the funds. Um, but if you want to deposit funds for a demo, you can deposit almost as much as you want. There is a limit, but you can pretty much deposit. So let's say I want to um, make it uh, $38. Let's make it $20,000 even. So let's deposit $38. And you can do this within the platform as well for demo accounts. We'll show you live in a second. So let's take a look at uh, history. This is also again available in live, but there are no, I don't have any trades there. So this is the reason why we're gonna do it from here. You click view history, you go down and you can see all the trades that you've had. You can also download the history and you can open it in Excel. This is important if you guys wanna go through your trades with more detail, um, run certain strategies in terms of uh, timing or, or PL. And also there's also statements. So you can open the current statement for this account, it comes as a PDF, and it'll show you the account summary in US dollar, your position summary, uh, close positions, and, and so on and so forth.
So with that in mind, let's move on. I mean, this is for demo accounts. Let's move on to live accounts. And here, of course, there's going to be more details. But first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you're looking at the right account. If you have more than one account, you know, sub accounts and a MetaTrader account, then that's what's going to show up. So in this case, I've got zero for both. So it doesn't matter. Again, these are test accounts. But this is where you would find that information. Also, like with the platform, you'll see your margins and then your P&L and your equity, um, your transactions, your past activity, also profit loss breakdown. And for those of you who want to deposit funds or you want to withdraw funds, you know, your card and bank details, or if you want to transfer funds, between one account and another. It could be that you know, you've got money in both CFD and MT4 and you go, I want to transfer from CFD to MT4. This is where you would do it. Now, it's zero to zero, so <laughs> there's nothing to transfer here, but if there was, this is where you would do it and transfer from one account to another, depending on what you want to trade, depending on which platform you prefer. And of course, there's history, which in this case, there's no history, but if you had a history, this is where you can go ahead and pull it up, just like we did in the demo account and statements as well. You can list your previous statements click on that and the PDF will show up and this is for your for my live account. It's a test account but it's a live account and you can see the amount in dollars, the position summary and the closed positions and so on and so forth. So pretty clear stuff. And what we're going to do next is this is the this is a different account but under live accounts there's something called trade analytics beta. Now I'm pulling this one up because I do have this one, there, there's no, I haven't done any trades on this previous one. So I'm pulling up this other test account. So don't worry about the numbers there. It's a test account, but the reason why we're pulling this up is so that you can see how this works. And you may not have received it just yet in your region, but it will be available soon. And that's the reason why we want to go through it now. It's called, so Trade Analytics, it's the beta version right now, it's still work in progress, but it's got some very interesting items to look at, um, whether it's a cumulative PL. But I really like this section down here. Um, we'll start with the, profit loss ratio and you click on learn more it'll tell you what it does it measures the performance of your trading strategy so it gives you an example if your average profit was 600 your average loss is 200 then your profit loss ratio would be three to one so in this case we have a profit loss ratio of about two to one we also have your win rate how often do you win how often do you lose because it's not just a question of how much you lose for for winning and losing but how often do you win versus your loss and, and you can see over there in this case it's Again, it's a test account at 70%, which in turn will give you your return rate, which is your win rate times your profit over loss ratio plus one. Again, these are details you can go in more, in more depth when you take a look at this item. But I really like this one right over here, which is average hold time for winning trades and average hold time for losing trades. A lot of times we have a tendency to hold on for winning trades for a very short period of time, whereas with losing trades, we hold on to it for days, if not weeks, if not months, waiting for it to retrace back up. And that certainly affects um, our risk reward. That certainly affects our psychology of trading as well. So it's important to note these things. In this case, the, losing, the time holding a losing trade was actually less, but usually it's the other way around. And that means that if you're seeing a very big uh, time for losing trades, you might want to fix that. It also tells you what your best market is. So if you're trading multiple markets or you know you want to know if you're doing better in your USD compared to gold, it'll tell you what your best and worst markets are. Down here, you have each of, of your trades. It'll tell you your average profit, your average loss. You can increase the rows as well. Um, but let's, let's you know, you put the markets, you've got your true P&L, you know, number of profitable trades, number of trades total, your win rate, in this case, three out of three. So, and it'll give you a return rate at the, at the end as well. So I really like this section over here though. This is really nice and it's always good to, to see how you're doing. If there's something you don't understand, just put learn more, you'll have a better idea of, of how it works. But I really do urge you guys to give, give this section a shot. And some of you might go, well, okay, I've, I've done a lot worse in the past, but I wanna see how I'm doing more recently. Well, if that's the case, instead of going 2018 to date, you can just go last month. Now, there, there are no trades on this account, but you could do that and say, okay, last month, how did I do over the past 30 days? Am I improving? Are those rate ratios going up? So that's it with regards to the dashboard. Do hope you tune into the next videos from all of us here at IG. Thank you so much for watching.